In Psalms 23, it says, God will prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. You see, God is about to prepare a table for you in this hour. God is about to propel your business to new heights. God is about to allow you to excel at your current job. You're about to reach new positions, management positions. You see, God is about to bless you with that new opportunity, with that new job that's better aligned for the call that's over your life. God is about to bless you with the resources, with the tools, with the investments that you need to put your dreams into action. Did you think that your hard work would go unnoticed? Did you think that you were really toiling in vain for the kingdom of God? No, God is soaring you. God is flying you high like an eagle. Listen, this is about to hit home for somebody. When God is about to bless you, he will first reveal your enemies. Huh? When God is about to bless you, he will first reveal your enemies. Get out the way and let God do his work. Your enemies will get what's coming to them. Unclench your fists, shut your mouth, and remove that anger from your heart. Never forget who you are. Most importantly, never forget whose you are. When people come up against you, they are coming up against God. And one thing I know about God is he don't play about his people. Listen to me. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Pray for your enemies and let them watch God's favor work in your life. God is about to prepare your table in the presence of your enemies. Yeah, that's real. But God says, I see people using you, but they don't know what's in you. And I'm going to bless you in this season, even though you have told yourself this is all it can ever be. When God wants to bless you, how does he do it? He sends people into your life. And when the devil wants to distract you or destroy you, how does he do it? He sends people into your life. So if people come into our life are either a blessing or a curse, it's up to us to be able to decipher, is this relationship going to benefit me and push me towards what God has for me? Or is this relationship going to subtract from me and take away from what God has for me? Some of you have been giving and giving and giving of yourself until you can't give anything else. But God wants you to know that he sees your sacrifices and everything that you have been doing. And some of you have been given to people who don't even have the capacity to give you anything in return. But I want to speak a blessing over you. I decree and declare that this is going to be the month that you will reap five times the seeds that you have sown the love that you have sown, the finances that you have sown. I decree over your life that you are getting ready to reap a harvest like you've never seen before. I speak blessings upon blessings upon blessings over your life. I declare Ephesians 3 and 20 over your life. You will have more abundance than you've ever witnessed in your life. Rivers of unending increase shall overwhelm you. I decree and declare that the heavens are open over your life. The portals are wide open to pour out blessings. And I hope that you receive this because listen, God sees, he knows everything that you have given He's seen even your tears, but joy is getting ready to come to you. I release the favor of God, uncommon, extravagant, unlimited favor to be released in your life. Do you receive that? If so, let me know in the comments. Just type, I receive. God is about to bless you. And a lot of people that were there during your down season or during the season of you trying to figure it out, they're gonna be there to watch. It's gonna look like bragging. It's gonna look like you conceited. 
It's gonna look like you got a big head. It's gonna look like it just happened overnight. It's gonna look like you lucky. But nobody is gonna know how much you've prayed. Nobody is gonna know those secret conversations that you had with you and the creator. No one is gonna know how many times you had to tell yourself no when you really just wanted to give in. No one is gonna know those sacrifices that you made in silence. When you're about to reap your blessing, I just want you to remember one thing. No matter what anyone says, no matter how hard it was to get to that point, no matter the voices that you hear in your head that tell you that you don't deserve it, I want you to remember that you deserve it. When God gave Noah the plan, he told him how high it needed to be. 30 cubits, which is 45 feet. He told him, hear this new birth, how high it needed to be before he told him giraffes were getting on. Whatever your plan is, you've got to think ahead. You've got to think ahead and you've got to think bigger. Something big is getting ready to come into the equation of your plan. God is getting ready to make it bigger than your expectation and bigger than your experience. It is time out, Atlanta, for you flossing when you ain't really got it. Tomorrow belongs to God. And if God decides to bless you, no devil, no witch, no hex, no spell, no mistake, no failure, no sin, no shortcoming, nothing can stop God if God gets ready to bless you. If you survive yesterday, you can survive today. And if you survive today, you can make it to tomorrow. Hell is lying. Jezebel is a liar. The doctor is a liar. The disease is a liar. Tomorrow belongs to God. You know you're authentically anointed when people who got more than you don't like you. And you're trying to figure out why you attacking me when I ain't got nothing. I hope y'all tap this church. God said, if they hate you at this level, what they gonna do when I elevate you to a whole nother place? This is just the beginning. God is about to bless your life because you blessed those who cursed you and did good to those who hate you. You understood that when the favor of God is on your life, no man or enemy can block the blessings God has in store for you. Watch God work. Comment amen if you receive this blessing. Did you know that when God decides to bless you, nobody can stop your blessings? Whatever they do, whatever they try, they will never stop your blessings. So keep trusting, keep praying, keep believing and knowing that God is going to bless you because he will bless you. Stay blessed and have a wonderful day. Anybody who has ever done you wrong, embarrassed you, humiliated you, you cried in private, they humiliated you publicly, God is your vengeance. But I promise you this, when God elevates you and he prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies, they will watch it. They can mute your stories. They can block you. It doesn't matter. God will make sure they see what he did for you. That humiliation, don't worry about it. God got you. Share this with your friends. You're not alone in this. Your time is coming. When God gets ready to bless you, you can't include everybody in your blessing sometime you got to shut the door oh lord must i say this the reason a lot of marriages fail is because you don't get in your house and shut the door you get married but he's still listening to his mama she's still listening to her daddy he listening to his friends. She listening to her friends. But the only way you gonna make it, you got to shut everybody else out. I know you my mama, I know you my daddy, but you don't have no place in my marriage. I know you my buddy, but...